Lord. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today, I feel led to read Genesis chapter 14. Genesis chapter 14 of the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Sinar, and Rach, king of Elisar, Cherodramar, king of Elam, the title king of nations, that these made war with Bertha, Berea, king of Sodom, and Bershia, king of Gormah, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Gomorrah. Shalab, king of Amma, and Shemember, king of Zebulamim, and the king of Abela, which is Zoar. All these were joined together in the valley of Sidiam, which is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Shedor Lamor, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year came Chedemorar, and the kings that were with him, and smote the Rephiliums, and Asheroth, Carmelium, and Zolzims. In Ham, and in e M Mims, in Shavin, Kurathim, and the Horites in their Mount Sir unto El Paran, which is by the wilderness, and they returned and came to En Mishpat, which is Kadash, and smote all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites that dwelt in Hash Hezharan Tamar. And there went out the king of Sodom and the king of Gormiah, and the king of Amadan and the king of Zimbalem, and the king of Bela, the same is Zoar. And they joined battle with them in the vale of Sodom, with Chedemar, Cherdor Lamor, the king of Elam, and with title king of nations, and Am Raphael, king of Shinamar, and Anarach, king of Alashar, four kings with five. And the vale of Siddim was full of slime pits. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fell, fled, and fell there. And they, and they that remained fled to the mountain. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their victuals, and went of their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother, son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. And there came one that had escaped, and, ha and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshkol, with and brother of Anur, and these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants born into his own house, three hundred and eighteen, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, and he, them he and his servants by, my, by night, and smote them, and pursued them into Horbah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot, and his goods, and the woman, the women also, and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him, after his return from the slaughter of Chedorlaomer, and the kings that were with him at the valley of Shavath, which is the king's dale, and Melchizedek king of, of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him, and said, Blessed be Abram, of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. Now remember, Abram's later on, his name changes to Abraham, the father of Israel. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thy enemies into thy hand, and he gave him titles of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have 
lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the Most High God, the Possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from the from a thread even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest thou shouldest say I have made Abram rich, save only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men which went with me, and Er, Eshkol, and Mamre, let them take their portion. Now, I felt the Lord just to plainly read it, and you need to take the Bible scripture up with God and ask Him for guidance and understanding. And I'm not the most highly intellectual person in the world. But ask Him to uh, guide you and show you the information and maybe lead you to people He had granted with wisdom and knowledge to understand. The only place I can think of at the moment is Grafted in Team Jesus. It's a ministry. They can help you learn some things but you have to take it up with God and ask God for guidance and understanding and wisdom and knowledge I hope you enjoyed listening to Genesis chapter 14 we're living in the tribulation so God please be with all my subscribers all my viewers and their loved ones and family members please lead them all to the Lord Jesus Christ bless them all with the heart healing and deliverance and need please do all these things as long as they have not taken the mark of the beast if it is in your will god and god please use your humble servant any way you see fit in lord jesus christ in my name amen amen peace be with you